It's Spider Bite at NextGenTactics.com, and this is Crash Defense. We're gonna do a rush to A. We rush right in and keep our gun pointed toward the doorway as we come across, and then hop up on this uh, countertop. And you can either sit here or you can move over a little bit to your left. It makes no difference. But if you do move over to your left, you have to sort of jump and then stay crouched. crouched. But uh, I usually do this the first round of every game. Um, whether here or to my left behind the uh, trash cans. And you always, or almost always, catch guys coming right in on a rush. Just like we did there. And we have to catch three of them at a time. So the one remaining guy is in here. He actually jumps down and comes back up the stairs to try and catch us, but we catch him first. Uh, so we're actually doing a rush into A again, this time with a G3. I was trying out the G3 for a while, um, way back when. And this is the other spot I was talking about. And we catch a guy coming across, but uh, with the G3 we got a red dot, we don't have a silencer. So you want to move as soon as you uh, get your first kill. We catch the second guy coming through with a pistol, the juggernaut. Yeehaw. Plant your claymore there. And uh, we'll show you in uh, some later rounds when we plant a claymore near the back. So our claymore just went off. We got a kill with it. It's surprising. That's a, you know the most obvious location for a claymore going into A, and you get kills with it all the time. Guy at the back. Try and catch him. Hey, look at that! Our G3 marksman too. Yeehaw! You can tell I use this gun a lot. There's one guy left, and we're one away from our airstrike, and god damn it, we want that airstrike. So we're gonna do whatever we can, whatever is in our power to get it. Guy's in here somewhere, and he's sitting up at the top there. And there's our airstrike! Um, we actually get three kills right off that uh, airstrike the next round, but we don't show it here. Look at this, we're sniping. And you know what, you can say what you want about my sniping skills, whatever. Um, I get a lot of kills sniping. And the thing is, yeah, I don't hard scope, I don't no scope, whatever. I mean, you want to go and do that one on one. I mean, you're at a severe disadvantage regardless um, if you're, you know, close to medium range, unless you're super good at it. But um, I always look for the advantage and. and in that spot, they're looking for the guy down behind the uh, concrete barriers, there, and we catch another guy right there. And I think he's trying to line us up uh, to snipe us right there. But um, they usually line up beside the concrete barrier, and you don't get a clear view. I always go beside the tree in the grass, and I go prone, and I almost always catch guys there. And if it's one on one, you know. There's a sniper up top and I'm down below. I can usually catch him because he's probably most likely looking the other way. So get a recon. And, and that's why I do, yeah, I mean it takes me a little longer to line up the shot and I make sure it's, uh, it's the correct shot before I take it. And it's not hard scoping because I can't do that. Anyways, uh, I thought this was pretty good. Um, we know this guy's up in this building to our left. We heard him jump down and we're tracking him across now. We obviously know where he's going. There's no need to chase him. We know where he's going. He's going to A and he's likely going to plant. So we're making our way over just carefully so he doesn't see us. He's already gone up and we're going to cook a grenade and time it perfectly. No need to get all impatient and run your ass off. Just, you know, move on back the other side, the other way into A, and toss a grenade. Okay, so this is the Claymore Replace, and typically 80 to 90% of the time, if somebody comes through the back way, they're going to eat that Claymore. <laughs> and there's the guy trying to jump over our teammate's Claymore. Uh, I like this spot also, but uh, on our UAV we know there's a guy in A, so we're just trying to keep an eye out at the very top in case uh, he tries to snipe me or anybody else 
on my team that's at the back of the map. Try and uh, throw a stun up. There's another guy approaching through the front. And we get kind of lucky with that guy. He should have had us. Grab his uh, shoddy. Ooh, look at the golden shoddy. Very nice. Too bad he didn't know how to use it. I thought there was another guy up here. Possibly not. Oh, look at that. There he is. What's he doing? What to do, what to do. Alright, nice. <clears throat> so we're gonna camp out at A. It's likely the bombs here. I didn't notice if we actually saw it or not. But whatever, it's likely here. So we'll camp the target. And I usually like to stay in this spot. Um, because you can easily get guys coming up the rear. That sound, sounded kind of funny, but... And their teammate gets them. And somebody's happy about that. Okay, so another A rush. I, I don't. I never run up that hill at B. I mean, it's just too volatile. I mean, you got snipers up there. You got grenade chuckers on offense. Um, I just think it's not a very good move to run up that hill at B. So we're sitting in their spot, and I'm sure we're gonna catch somebody. And what do you know? He just runs in. Like I mean, he doesn't even look in the closet. He doesn't look to his left. He doesn't look. You know, he just runs in and, and starts looking out that door at the back. It's not being very careful. Which is good for us. I mean, I'm not complaining or anything, right? So there's that claymore. And we put our one in the back. So no one's getting into A without us knowing. And looks like someone's trying to get into A. Claymore's gone. He didn't actually get hurt from it, I don't believe. So it's not likely that he went by. Our teammate's out here. He might see somebody out back. No, he's firing out back, okay? I didn't immediately go and help him because, what do you know, there's a guy running out from that way. If I turned around to help my teammate right there, then I would have got shot in the back. So, you know, he, he was capable of handling things himself. We just saw a guy run up to the top. Um, you know, don't be too so quick to turn around when you see a blip on the radar because uh, and see there's our claymore in the back. Gets him every time. And we still got this one guy, he's in here. And there he is. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. Search and destroy. Actually uh, edited out uh, a ra another round of sniping. I must say, it was pretty good. For someone who can't snipe, that is. So, again, I like to do this most rounds. And, um, I actually cut out some stuff. This guy tried to knife me, and he failed. Um, where I sit on the dumpster, just to my left here, um, you sit on that dumpster and you can get quite a few kills. Um, I usually like to do that with uh, some teammates. If one is inside in my spot that we just saw, and one is on the dumpster, it's actually a great combination. With a couple claymores at the backside, uh, you're good to go, and A is, you know, nearly locked down entirely. Hey, what do you know? What do you know? It's clutch time. Again! What the fuck? Why do I keep getting into these clutch situations? So there's one of our claymores went off, our teammate helped us with another, and there's one guy left. So, it's one versus one clutch now, boys. Just waiting. You can hear him. So just be patient. Again, I like the spot. Now, but I'm getting a little antsy because I can hear him closer. I'm gonna move up, take a look. So he just planted a claymore. He's probably gonna try and plant, unless he's run to B, but I can still hear him. So I'm gonna come down. So he obviously planted that claymore to get me. And we get an airstrike. You know how the rest ends, I had to cut it for time purposes, but uh, that's it. 
For more strategies and tactics, go to www.nextgentactics.com. Spider right out.